American stocks are falling, the media goes insane, and NVIDIA, the sweetheart of the US stock market, lost 17%, or $600 billion in market cap, and the whole market lost over $1 trillion. And the reason is, China launched its own version of artificial intelligence, DeepSeek, which is faster, less expensive, and more efficient than the American products. Is this the end of the American leadership? And what does it mean for the US economy? DeepSeek is a large language model that excels in coding, mathematics, and problem solving. It beats the similar American products from OpenAI and Meta. The president said that he believes that this is a wake-up call to the American AI industry. But I am not a programmer. I am an economist. I am a boring economist. So I am not going to discuss the tech specs of DeepSeek. I am going to dive into economics of it. And here are my economic thoughts. First, this news is one month old. For one month, DeepSeek was available open source, for free, and for one month the media ignored it. And the media ignored it because of freedom of speech. And freedom of speech means that those who control the speech are free. And they, those who control the speech, gave the media the command, be silent. And only after a month, on January 24, they gave the command start the hysteria, release the Kraken, and all hell broke loose. And after one month of silence, now the media is going hysterical. It screams that China poses a threat to the American leadership, that China challenges the American leadership. No! No, China can't challenge the American leadership, because America doesn't have one. These are the areas in which China is already leading. And I got this information not from China, but from American and Australian think tanks. It pains them to admit that China is a leader in technology and the US is not. So you've got to trust them. But artificial intelligence was one of the very few areas in which the US still held its leadership. The US was a monopoly in AI, not anymore. On December 26, China took that monopoly away from the US and the US leadership and the AI disappeared. Yes, China is number one, the US is number two, but again number two is respectable. For example, Canada, my country, is nowhere near the level of China or the US or India. And America can still return its leading position, that's one of the goals of President Trump. After the media went hysterical, it changed its tune. Now it says that, yes, China developed a superior product, but it doesn't count. It doesn't count because China used NVIDIA's chips illegally. They used the 50,000 chips from NVIDIA they were not supposed to have. Bad China steals American products. Now, for a fact check. Yes, the United States restricted the export of its newest technologies to China. And NVIDIA was allowed to sell the older chips H100 and not the newest chips H100 to China. But does that mean that China acquired the chips illegally? Now, it might get a little technical, so bear with me. An American president can't create rules for China. He's not China's president. An American president create rules for, wait for it, Americans. And the Chinese authorities create rules for, wait for it, the Chinese. So China could not break American laws because China doesn't obey American laws. If it's true that China bought the latest technologies from NVIDIA, 
It were the Americans who broke American laws. American people or companies sold to China what they were not supposed to. So when Americans break American laws and the media blames China, also, who cares? Who cares if China used American chips illegally? Do you care about it if the Chinese product DeepSeek is faster, better and free, while similar American products cost 200 a month? Would you pay 200 a month just to be a patriot, just to please President Biden or President Trump? Would you? If it's true that China used American chips illegally, good for them. The Chinese innovation cut through the American red tape. The Biden administration and the Trump administration tried to cut China from US technologies and still China got them and created a superior product and the entire world will benefit from it. Sanctions don't work. Sanctions never worked for Iran, Cuba, Russia, Venezuela or North Korea. Do you remember how President Trump tried to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons? Well, now North Korea is a nuclear power, thanks to Biden and Trump. Sanctions don't work. I admire optimism of American politicians. It's like they're saying, yes, we know that sanctions did not work for Iran, Cuba, Russia, Venezuela, North Korea, but for China. But this time they will work. And yes, we know the previous 100 sanctions did not work, but the next five will. American politicians are so optimistic incompetent but optimistic. This is what will most likely happen. The US government will ban deep seek. By the way, is it just me or the free and democratic America is more communist than China? Because over the past few years, all what we see from the US is they ban this, cancel that, sanction this country or freeze assets of that country. Right now, the US government is cracking down on Greenland. For God's sake, Greenland? If the US government doesn't like something, they cancel it. No! Most likely, Comrade Trump will ban deep sea. He can't ban it for the whole world, but he can ban it for Americans. And Americans will be using the American inferior product for $200 a month, while the rest of the world will be using the advanced DeepSeek for free. My friends, did you use DeepSeek? Does DeepSeek make you happy or scared? Put your comment below and also tell me, would you like a video on Stargate, President Trump's latest project of investing $500 billion into AI? Would you like that? Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.